guys welcome back to marvin's multimedia life my name is queen as you already know and i know you are wondering where kelvin is today it's all girls talk in here because we kicked out kelvin i hope you guys watched our previous video where we gave our first giveaway winner the JBL headset. If you've not watched it, make sure you do so. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing some really, really beautiful shoes. But I'm not going to be doing that alone. I'm, I have two beautiful she bosses in my midst. Like, they are so good in their field and I just, let me just bring them on. So you have... <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so welcome to Marvin's Multimedia Live. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can we introduce ourselves? Let's start with you. <laughs> Alright, so hi guys. My name is Marilyn Addo and I go by Janwa on Instagram. D-S-A-N-W-A-A. -A. Half the brain behind Marvin Shakes and Tails, Marvin's Multimedia Live and Cheve Violin. If you've not tried Marvin's milkshakes, Marvin's cocktails, Marvin's Oh my god, you guys are missing out. Really missing and, out. Yeah. She has really beautiful hair pieces you guys have to try. And hi. Yeah, and before I go on, I um, mean, their shakes and tails yeah. is really good. Well, not because of me, but because I've tried them. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Sapoma. I am a manager at Focus One Media. But in Accra, I'm with Plus FM, which is part of Focus One Media. Um, aside that, I see myself largely as a social person. I like to volunteer a lot to help the society. I do public speaking and MC. Oh. Yeah, I think we can do all this. So let me add one. I am also a sonographer. Yes. What yes. sonography? <laughs> Who is a sonographer? That's a question. People know us as people that usually scan pregnant women, but there's more than that. We can take scans of virtually most parts of your body except your bones and your scalp. Yeah, that's what the sonographer does. See, I'm in the midst of two great women. Eh? I don't know how... You guys, there's a lot of women empowerment and women, this thing going on in here. So back to today's focus. We have beautiful shoes we are going to be checking out. So can we have them? Okay, these are items from Russell and Bromley. Yes, yeah, so it looks right? quite heavy very heavy mm -hmm. yeah so let's all just see what we can get from inside so yeah, first impressions it feels very comfortable i mean it feels very smooth for me i love the metal detailing mm -hmm. that's very catchy so the first thing i see is i mean i see sweets every time i see black and white shoes every time so the first thing i'm seeing is the metal detailing yeah. here which gives it some kind of swag it feels very comfortable good for our weather but because it's suede maintenance yeah maintenance i mean the dust and all i love suede shoes but i don't know because of the dust we have yeah. here and i particularly do not like the suede sprays that i use yeah, on shoes because yeah, when you use for a longer time it fades off and yeah. it looks very messy yeah. but aside that i would pick this anytime Okay, so I think this is more of a corporate shoe. In terms of room for your legs, I feel like it's a bit narrow. So me personally, it looks very classy and sleek. <laughs> well, this some people don't like this crow crow. When you're walking, make some yeah. sound. Some so, people don't yeah, like it. Yeah, yeah. But overall, I think it looks very classy. I mean, it's something you can take for a meeting. It looks like a very work appropriate shoe. So this shoe, I think is the Russell and Bromley, but they are featuring some other designer. Then they please if I don't mention the word, don't come in, I beg. Towards, towards, wait man. I mean, they've written SW under, it looks very chic. So this sandal, clearly leather, with the gold star. A gladiator feel. A gladiator, yeah. It's you remember back those? <laughs> it has brought back those um, gladiator vibes. trends and vibes. Yeah. You can style it up and you look really classy cool, yeah. and cool in this. I love the sole. The yeah, sole is very yeah, hard. Yeah, uh, for yeah. our kind of rocky yeah. land yeah, escape. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely am a sneaker person, so I love this. I love the fact that it's black and white with the metal detailing. If there's anything that I want to take out of this, it will be the suede. 
the sweet part of it. Mm. Mainly because of the dust. We have yeah. a lot of dust here mm. and because I don't like sweat sprays. So this shoe, I like it. It looks very, very classy. I mean, I wouldn't wear this anywhere and just everywhere. The only problem I have with this is the inside feels a bit narrow. So if you are somebody like who has like wide feet, this might not be comfortable for you. Mm. So that's the main problem I have with this shoe. With this, it's an easy wear. Um, I like sandals. I, any day, every day, I'll take a sandal. Um, what I don't like is, I think the gold starts a little too much. Too much. I, I actually don't think it may be real gold, no. but maybe it's uh, some good it's metal which may also not fade out. I so mean, this uh, this Russell and Bromley we are talking about, and this is one of the luxury brands in UK for yeah. how many years now? Sure. And it's a trusted brand. So how much do these cost? It's the question you've asked me. Because <laughs> these designer things here. Yeah. So how much is mine? How much is mine? Yeah, how much is mine? Uh, yours is... Really. <laughs> I, think, I think, uh, maybe, maybe sometimes the price is really? under. So let me turn it. Oh, okay, here it is. It says it's two hundred and seventy-five pounds. Pounds. <laughs> well, I'm tempted to ask how much in Ghana is, but let's maintain pounds. Let's maintain a pound. Let's maintain a pound. Let's let's maintain maintain a pound. Maintain the numbers because are fewer. Yes. <laughs> it's almost three hundred pounds, so you must it out to three times six. Yes, yeah, so almost. between thousand three to thousand five. Yeah. Okay. You don't wear this rainy season. No. Wear it. Wipe. You're gonna put it down. 275 pounds. I don't know what you guys are going to say. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> this is just a sandal, so how much? This one, I no, I think I'll give you the price for that. The 20 last pounds one. Okay. Now. Let's go to her. <laughs> how much is this? Um, has is 195 pounds. 195 huh? pounds. Huh? Okay, for a sneaker lover. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's Russell and Bromley we are talking about. Yes. Yes. So, um, I'm mm. Well, I'm quite lucky. You get to read it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> On the metal detailing. Is, I mean, this should be quite lower than this. Yeah, like some 20 pounds. Yeah. No, maybe 90. Yeah, maybe 90. 90 50, 90. 90. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's cool sandal. for a sandal. It's oh. 135 pounds. What? what? <laughs> yes, yes. Put it there. It's okay. <laughs> We've closed. <laughs> it's okay. 135. Wait. It's okay. Is it with the metal? <laughs> that, that's why it was asking if it's gold, because ready. Yeah. And no. our color, no. The color is what's giving it the price. Well, it's good leather. The sole is good. Yeah. But for 135, well, I'm not large on sandals. Maybe she would. But I still want. <laughs> I mean, this is I'm not like the sandals, so I, I won't buy it. I won't pick it. Well, for now, you know, sometimes when your pocket is good and yeah. the account is Maybe good. Maybe you want to treat yourself. Yeah, you want to have a treat. Treat yeah. yourself, huh? Have it. I hope you guys had fun on this so show. Much fun. Yeah. And I hope you guys out there also had fun. Before we go, I just want us to have a little chit chat for people out there, ladies out there especially. Um, yeah, can we know how you started business and what you've learned so far and how it's helped you and where you are now? Like, Talk to us. In my opinion, or what I've learned is that everything is tough. Business is tough, even life is tough. Learn the hard way, go through the meal, do the best you can for yourself. Oftentimes, uh, there's this issue of gender inequality and what have you. It may be there. As a woman, especially, do not walk around with that entitled mentality. I am a woman, I am underprivileged, so I am entitled to this. Yes, we are women, yes, we have barriers, yes, we are underprivileged in some instances. But if you and I will put work into it, if you and I would work as much as we should, things become pretty easier for us. It may not be always easy, 
but it works through. I mean, it would go through all the meal, it would go through the ups and downs, but it definitely pays off. Yeah. It really definitely pays off. Yeah. I mean, I, I remember, so we are a group, where I come from is Focus One Group. So there's the media, there's distribution. I was from distribution, there's events as well, retail events. So I was from distribution and I went to media. So once I was talking to the guys that I work with, and they are so, you know, they, they see me ride a car now. So, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, you, you don't walk. And I told them, see, I've walked probably all the walking I can yeah. see. And <laughs> while I was walking, I always had a rug in my handbag. Look at that. If I need to go to an office, you my there's about 100 meters to the place. Yes. <laughs> I dust my shoes. I make sure that I look okay. And I go into the office. So I've done all that. I've walked. I've erected canopies at the marketplaces. I still do them. If it needs to be done, I still do them. I, I've always admired you guys, uh, uh, Marvins. It's know what you're doing. There are people that want to go into business or they are in managerial roles yeah. or leadership positions and they do not know what you're doing. Yeah. When you know your job, nobody is able to love you. Yeah. And continuous improvement, keep improving, keep That's reading, it. keep practicing and learn. I talk to Kelvin a lot, I learn from him a lot, and we're always sharing ideas, it's good. So for me, that's what has helped me. I'm learning from people. I, I don't care your age, whether you're old or you're young. Once you have something to teach, I have an opportunity to learn. You know, everybody wakes up and they want to be an entrepreneur. But what it actually takes to be an entrepreneur, the amount of sacrifice, amount of time and patience that you need, most of us don't have it. I mean, Marvin started from when I was in uni. It wasn't something big at all. It was, I personally, I'm from the medical field. This whole business thing has nothing to do with me, typically on any other day. But I sat and I was like, oh, I like to make desserts. Why don't I just make it for people to eat and be happy? That's where the whole idea came from. And slowly, I started from food fairs at school, report. The poor hall because my first mm. outdooring of Marvin Shake Centers. Back then it wasn't Marvin Shake Centers, it was just Marvin's. So when I finished uni, I then started targeting fairs. I mean, somebody doesn't like the idea that, oh, you as you are the boss of the company, you should be behind the counter selling. Mm -hmm. You yeah. want to have people to do it for you. No, 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 no. It's your thing. Nobody has more passion than you, you yourself, that you are doing it yourself. Yeah. You just have to be patient and persevere and learn how to accept criticism. Yeah. That's one thing most people cannot do. Yeah. Were there times you felt like giving up? Most definitely. It's not easy. First of all, the capital. Where are you going to get the money from? That alone can discourage you. Yeah. But if you have the drive, nothing can stop you in this world. So do you have any last words for us? Oh yeah, I do. Um, in Accra, make sure you listen to Plus 89.9. As um, a Christ music leader for all your music, good music 24-7, we are there for you. So if you're in Kumasi, uh, we don't leave you out. So you're listening to Orange 107.9 is inside the city mall. In Takwadi, it's Beach 105.5 FM and also Spice 91.9 FM. So Beach is Takwadi's music leader, Orange is Kumasi's music leader. You can follow me, Yasapuma, on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. It's the same name. So, Y Sapuma or Y underscore Sapuma. So, you already know Marvin's. Marvin's is the brain behind most of the things. It's behind Marvin's Multimedia Live, it's behind Marvin Shakes and Tales, and my hair page, Cheve underscore GH. So, we have something exciting, rather exciting, coming up from the Marvin's Multimedia Live team. Yeah. So we are bringing back Foodie, Foodie Friday. Friday. It's a promo where we pick one of our followers, yes, subscribers, and take them to any restaurant of their choice. choice. I hope yeah. this time I'll pick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's the new something little that we have for you guys. Mm. So just look forward to it. It was nice being here. I really yeah. enjoyed my time here. Yeah. yeah. I hope I get to take. A sneaker away. I mean, <laughs> in your last episode, you gave a JBL out. Can you imagine? Out. Can you imagine? And, and when I was rooting for the Beats by Jay, and, <laughs> and because the color was, oh, 
a bird ticket. ticket. Oh, wow. Wow. And you give JBL out. Please, I want the sneaker. The next promo then. We'll think about it. <laughs> oh. So it's been a very lovely time here with my beautiful she bosses. I hope you guys had fun as much as I did. I learned a lot from you guys. You guys have been so insightful. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. You guys, subscribe. We have more giveaways for you. And yeah, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Twitter. Facebook. Facebook, yeah. Yeah, and please subscribe, Snapchat. share, like, Snapchat, everywhere. Just follow us. And we'll, we promise to give you good content and the best, the very best. You can get so, to win stuff too. So a lot yeah. of stuff. And please, Foodie Friday. Make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, you can't be part of Foodie Friday. So, yeah. So, bye.